Hello boys and girls, um, today we are going to do something on a computer. So if you have one at home, you can get one and the documents we'll need to make this game, which is snakes and ladders, we need Excel and we'll need PowerPoint. Okay, so let's get started. So we're on step one, so this is our first step. Here's, we need to type in, the game is and here it is, snakes and ladders. On to step three. So you might not have realised how to do this. So you just go on to boxes and then highlight the ones you want to do. You need up to J. Call them J because that's ten. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then take columns down. And how do you make them bigger, Toby? By clicking on it, the one you want, scrolling down, and then widening them like this. Let me show you. Like this. Okay. And does that work to make them longer too? Well, the way to make them longer is to go on the top. Excellent. Do you need to do anything to the borders? You don't need to do anything. Just type in the numbers. Okay, so is that the next step? We're going to type in the numbers? Yes. Okay. I know a quicker way. Oh, do you have a quicker way to fill those numbers in, Toby? Yes. I'll show you here, because you can only do it like this way. So you can go type in the numbers, then highlight them both, like this, scroll along, and then they're much bigger. Wow, I wouldn't have known how to do that. So you're typing the numbers as you go up so that you can follow it around with the counter, is that yeah. right? And to make sure that all the numbers are in the centre of the boxes and a big size, I noticed you've gone for size 24. Yes. How did you do that? So I clicked into here and then I chose a number. Brilliant. And did you have to highlight all of the squares before you did that? Yes. Fantastic. So we'll leave you filling up all the squares to 100, <coughs> shall we? Now flick them a bit. Magic will begin. So how do you do this magic? You highlight them like this, click on one, then yeah. scroll along to the other one. You can find this little dot here. Yeah. Then scroll along. Wow. And them all. That is magic. And if you do it from here, you can still get the things you need. That's very clever, Toby. What more to do till we finish the square. Oopsies. Ninety-nine and finally one hundred. So tapes, what have you done here? I've made them colour, so this is how I did it. So I went on to here and then if you want the red I've got here you go bad. And sometimes this might happen. So the way to sort that to go where we went before and then click on the, the number we had before. Fantastic. So are you making the board nice and coloured? Yes. So can you show us one more time? Yes. So click on the colour you want. So the colours are from these ones here, are they? Yes. Yeah. And that will quite happen often. But when I did it, it really didn't happen because I did it in the right... One, eleven. Mm. Oh, that wasn't meant to happen. Oh, <laughs> it's going a bit crazy. No, that wasn't me. Wait, let's go up a second. That was the wrong yellow. Oh, oh, it was. It was the right one. And then change the size. Click on twenty-four. 
on Ella. We're doing up to blue because that's the only colour you should have on Excel up to blue. Oh no. Oops. Let's go scroll back. That kind of looks like a green, but when we print it with our colour printer, it shouldn't look that colour. It should look a brighter colour. Then we're on our last colour, blue. So let's scroll up here. Oop, oopsie. And then enter. Here it is. And then we've got the colour. Get it in the right size again. 24 it is, isn't it? It's 24. Mm -hmm. And click. Oh, they've then, gone bold. How did you change that? Oh dear. I think you might should. Does uh, it click on that big B? Oh uh, yeah, I pressed out. This one here. Let's try the B, see what happens. Yay. Yay. You've solved a mystery problem. So now you've got a big colourful board. On to the next step. So well, we've done a couple of steps. Now the step is to get snipping tool open. Here we go, and that's the one I took a photo of. And you need to let me show you. So you go new, then new. When it's when it's highlighting new, you go and do it. Then you highlight what you need. That's a bit rubbish. But if you get like the white bits in, you just need to crop it. Excellent. And then what do you do with that, Toby? Once you've got it, where's the one that you did earlier? Here's the one on PowerPoint I did. You press paste. So you've snipped it from Excel. And you've pasted it into a blank PowerPoint. Yes. And I made it blank because it wasn't blank. But you go, uh, layout, blank. Fantastic. And that's how you do it. So that's the next step. See so what bit is. So at the moment I'm cropping it. And how you do that is you just get it. And then when you want it to finish crop, you can just click off it. Excellent. And then you've got it there. And then there's some magic you want, might want to do. Oops, because then you can get bigger snakes and big ladders. Uh -huh. So where do you get your snakes you and your ladders spoil. from, Toby? You can get it from the internet or you can get it off of Google. Okay, so Google images and get some snakes and ladders? Yes, and that's going to be our next step. So I've got Google and now we're going to go on to Google that Google. Then we're going to search for snakes first. Snakes. Snake clip art. We're only going to use clip art. So if we go images, we get more. And then I use a snake to make one of mine before, which was a cool snake, which I'm trying to find on here again. Because I thought those, that snake was a bit cool. Uh, oh, I might use this snake. Let's close that. Then you need to click on there and then copy image and then we're going to go powerpoint and there's a quicker way to get a new slide instead of clicking on the slide home and then go new slide and then paste it then we're going to bring it down here shrink it shrink it so it's nice and small and you can also bring them up again and then we're doing something really clever. Go Control C V and copy it, and then we're going to slide it along. And then next, we need to do the ladders. And if you don't have enough space on a page, there's no need to worry. And just go onto a new page. So can you stretch those and shrink those if you want yeah. to to make them fit? And there's another way you can get them on to the PowerPoint. Okay, and I'll show you that easily on our next step. Oop. I think I'm going to have to go on a new slide. Okay, we're going to go on the new slide now. Slide. Now let's get the ladders. I'm just going to cut how many snakes we've got, and then we can get the same amount of ladders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need seven ladders the same. So let's go on to Google. Scroll up. And then there's transparent, transparent snakes, which will make them go transparent at the end. Let's write in all a 
Mother, Ladder, Finger Space, and Jump. So we've got some funky ladders here. This was the one I used. I'm going to go and get my one to show you at the end to see if it looks the same. Except there's two on each side. PowerPoint. And then I forgot the number, so we're going to have to count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Wait. So, yeah, it's kind of a mass, isn't it? Let's paste. Oh, those are really big ladders, aren't they? Really, really big. Shoot them. And you can also get them bigger on the pages, so they take you higher. So, let's go Control C V. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's take them apart. And take them apart again. And it doesn't matter if they go away from each other, because we aren't going to get rid of them in a minute when we put them onto the pages. Oop, oop. And there we go. We've got your snakes and ladders. Okay, so we're on one. We've got a couple more steps to go. So we need to get our snakes. And this is the magic. We go Control C X. And they've disappeared. But if we go onto our page, yeah. and there they are. And then at the end we're going to do something really clever. And I'm going to put the snake here. It doesn't matter if that is leading to snakes, just try to make it not. So I'm going to put all... I'm, I'm not going to use all of my snakes, I might just put the right four on. Okay, control, snakes. We're deleting a lot of snakes. And then they're coming back again. And at the end of the weekend, shoot them. Which I'm going to do. Whoop. Mine's a small snake. Which is easy if you can do that. I'm going to shoot this one up. Can you twist them, Toby, so that they go on a different angle? You can kind of, like, them. I think so. So if you click on this one and pull it around, does that make it go on a different angle? Yeah, so you can change the angle on the board. Yep. Then I'm going to go Control C, X. And then if we paste it, we've got the sneak. Now I'm going to go on to this. Twist it round. Shrink it. So it's a small size. And then put it on. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to do one more snake and then we can go on to, and we're going to do some ladders. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to get time to do five. So let's go control C X. This is snake. And there it is again. We've got it twisted round. I'm going to put it on. Now we're going to give it one more snake. Control, control C, and if you don't press control, it makes a funny noise. So I have it with mine. Hear it? Hear it? It's kind of a funny noise, isn't it? Paste it. Oh, I forgot. Did I delete one then? Oh, there it is. That sneaky snake didn't want to come, didn't it? Whoop! Turn around, snake. And now we're going to do the ladders. So let's. I'm going to shrink this ladder up. Shrinky, shrinky. Control C, X. Disappear. Doesn't matter if they go over each other. Just, I would try. Oh, that one disappeared. I'll just undo that. Now let's go paste. There we go, we've got a little ladder back. Let's put it here. You might be able to hear my brother in the background. Control C X. And sometimes you can make them even longer and bigger. But if you do them too big, it wouldn't be very great. And if you see a ladder that goes on a snake's head, do not worry. I'm only putting four on there. I don't mind however many I get on there. Control C X. And can you make the ladders bigger, Toby? Yeah, because I've already done that. See? Oh yeah. yeah. 
to the placement. I'm gonna turn this ladder around. Oh, I, I got the board instead of this. Okay, I'm gonna add one la one more ladder on, and I might get rid of some snakes. Cause I've got three snakes left, and I'm gonna have three. Pink, delete. Please. That ladder turned upside down. Okay, now it's time for the magic, which I'll show you in the next one. Okay, so now we are going to do the really, really experiment thing, which my daddy showed me how to do. Um, I'm not sure what it was. I think it was design. No, I can't remember what it was. And your mummy doesn't know how to use PowerPoint, so I can't work it out for you, unfortunately. Oh dear. Um, insert. We'll run off, we'll have a chat with Daddy, and we'll be back. So, we're on our final. We've only got two more sets left. And we're going to make them transparent. So this is how we do it. We click on colour. Colour. Then, see this here? We've got set transparent. We've clicked on it. Then if you click on the ladder, the ladder will disappear. So you need to click on that. And then you need to click on the white bit and then it should disappear. And we had some problems, didn't we, Toby, with the snakes we originally chose. And so what did we have to do? We got some new more, some new ones. So sometimes that might not work. If that doesn't work, then change your ladder or change your snake and then it should work. So Toby's just going to put a few more snakes on the board move them around so that the tails and the heads are in the right place and then Toby what happens next? We're going to print them. Excellent, see you guys in a minute. So we've just had a little bit of changes, um, we are making these levelled otherwise it might be a bit confusing and now we are ready to print it. Here it comes! Okay, so we've just printed it, and this is what yours should look like if you followed our instructions. You don't have your, to put your ladders in the same place, because that might be a bit boring. Okay, and then we're stuck on some yellow card, any scrap paper, or you can use any cardboard you have at home. And then we're going to play a game using these Lego counters as our players, and the dice. And if you get a six, you get another go. We're going to play the game now with my mummy, so that I'm going to roll the dice. I've got a one, so I move one. And now we're going to, and now it's my mummy's go. Thank you. She's got a two. One, two. Wait. One, two. Oh, let's put her on my head. Roll the dice again. I got a four. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, I was at five. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy playing your game at home. Bye, please subscribe.